Salutations wet shavers, Spencer here for a super exciting unboxing that I'm just, I'm so stoked for. Um, this is a razor that I've been looking at for a very long time. An incredible gentleman named Sean Mason was excited to do a trade with me um, for this razor that I've, <laughs> like I said, been so excited to use since I saw it on Instagram uh, by Rocknell. Um, Rocknell is probably one of the most well-built razors that I've ever used. I have the Rocknell Elite which is, like I, like I said, one of the highest quality built razors that I've ever, ever used. Uh, tames a feather blade like no I no, <laughs> I'm tongue tied with excitement. Um, tamed a feather like nothing else, even over the feather <laughs> razor itself that I got the ASD to. Um, and that is the Rocknell Sailor. That's in this box here. And we've got another surprise gift from Sean. Barbado. He knows how obsessed I am with Barbado, especially the aftershave. This, it looks like they're razor packaging, so I'm not sure. I, I can't, I know that they sell some safety razors, but I can't remember what they look like. Ooh. That looks cool. Comes with proprietary Barbado blades. Can't wait to use those. And the Barbado razor. Oh, it's a bit light. Nice. Nice stuff. It's like a four inch handle, it's huge. I'll put it next to a um, Mueller Rocker, which is a three and a half, which is standard like DE89 sort of length. And that's it next to it, so it's a, it's a long razor. But it's light, so it's still quite nimble. That should be a nice nice shaver. He, he knows I love Barbado. Now, this looks like a chrome zinc alloy, and what I'm used to most of these is that they're real squeaky on the thread. So let's let's see if this this rings true. <laughs> it's it's not something that bothers me, but it's like if it was like a one hundred dollar razor, then I would be uh, uh, like complaining about it. But awesome stuff. It's all about the shave, so I can't wait to use that. But what I'm more excited to use. The Sailor. Now this has a really weird mechanism. It's got like an eject mechanism from what I've heard. There are no videos on YouTube about it. So I'm really excited to hopefully be able to pump a few videos out on this razor. Oh. Ooh. That is a short handle. A lot shorter than I thought it was gonna be. I'll put it next to D89. I think it's even shorter than the Rex. Real bulky head too, but the build quality is immense. The, the metals on it look absolutely impeccable. Got really nice, it won't, it won't be able to focus on here because um, it's a front facing camera, but it's got really nice sailor engraving on here. It's got the dot, so it's like a bottom dial adjustment. So I think I'm just gonna be really careful with the head. Um, so it's on, It's on its lowest setting there, so when the dots meet up, and then it goes all the way up to five. So it goes up to five and then it ejects. So if I keep on going across, blade gap keeps getting higher and higher, and then it ejects. So you gotta be really careful about that, because I'm <laughs> if you don't hold it, I don't wanna test it, but I think it'll fly off. Um, so that's that's it there. Really, really nice. Oh, it's even got the Rocknell logo just just here on, on the base cap. See if I can get the light to sort of catch it. That that's the that's the logo there. Oh, that's so weird. So it's like a spring mechanism there. Weird. I've never seen an adjustable like this. So I'm guessing it's easiest to just go upside down, press it and load it that way. Really nice looking razor, but yeah, you've got to be real careful uh, about that eject, <laughs> about that eject thing, because I think that could fly off if you just sort of twist it. So if you want them to go to five, I'd be... Oh, it goes, it goes past the eject. That's weird. Oh, there it is. So it goes up to two on a full sort of on a full turn. D 
Damn, that looks like it's going to be damn aggressive, though. Look at that. <laughs> That's on max setting. That looks scary. Dang. Let's load it with a blade, eh? So, ease of use. Not going to be for a beginner. <laughs> Beginners, I would steer away from, from a razor like this. One, because it's uber expensive. I think it's like 350 US or something. Um, could be more. I'm not too sure. I'm just going to do a practice load of a blade just to see sort of ease of loading. So I'm going to do it similar like I do to the Rex, which is upside down. I saw Matt Pasasic load like this and he said that it's the safest way to load a razor. Now these razors are designed for a feather. This isn't a feather, um, but that's what I'm going to put it in. Um, that's what I'm going to put in it when I use it to shave. Place it down there. Then I just sort of spin the top like that. Cool. Leave my finger on the top. Damn, man, that is, on max setting, that is going to be ripping my face off. So, hard to sort of see. There's a decent amount of blade exposure on there. So I think this might be quite aggressive. I've heard that it is decently aggressive, so I can, oh, can't wait to use that. I've just shaved, I've just done a live shave with Kai Triska. You can go check that out on It's Just Shaving on Facebook. Um, but I am so excited to use this. This is a unicorn razor for me. Always wanted to use one. They're just gonna release a, um, a, vintage, a vintage one now, a vintage um, adjustable. That's going to be real expensive, I think, too. But this, wow. I'm very, very excited. So, Sean, thank you so much, man. I'm very, very appreciative. I can't wait to use it. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. I can't wait uh, to pump out a shave with one and see my first thoughts. Hopefully, it's not too aggressive, even though I'm a daily shaver. I still don't mind a little bit of blade feel. Um, so, anyway, we'll see how that goes. So, you guys take care. Stay safe. Stay positive and make sure you guys keep smiling. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.